five minutes, remember to answer all the questions. No exceptions. Listen up, before we begin, note there are 10 questions, but you're only required to answer five questions. Everyone, this paper is multiple choice. All you have to do is choose A, B, C, or D for each question from the answers we give you. Cut the C and D. Only answer A and B. So, in short, your chances of passing this exam is 50-50. This is a reading exam, so just start reading. All right, we'll be starting any minute now. Eat. Sleep, cheat, I don't care, I can't stop you. Half of you is sitting there in your underwear anyway. Good luck. Two plus two equals? Easy. Two plus 13 plus six? No problem. Michael has eight apples. All right. His train is seven minutes late. Mm -hmm. Calculate the mass of the sun. <laughs> Pronounce this? 1999. Jonathan? Uh, uh, 1888. Brian? 11, 11, 11. No. Gerald? 11, 181. Martin? 11, 11, 11. Matthew? 1 to the power of 4. Alright, let's just move on. Uh, hopefully your homework won't give me this much of a headache. Homework? Yes. Didn't you do... Did any of you do your homework? I did, sir. You don't count, you suck up. Eric, did you do your homework? I forgot. Jonathan? I didn't know there was homework. Ryan? Uh, my dog ate my homework, sir. Matthew? Uh, my, my dog forgot to do my homework. Martin? My cat ate my homework, and then my science project ate my cat. Gregory? I did it. Oh, thank you. But my brother put it on eBay, and I, I tried to get it back, but I wasn't the highest bidder. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> Ryan, come on, get up. You're gonna be late for school. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't buy it. Get up, get dressed, and I'll be waiting in the car. Oh, Mom, Ugh, I'm sick. I can't go to school today. Mom! Where the heck is she? Mom! I said I'm sick! And? What am I supposed to do about it? Walk to school? Stay in bed? I don't care. <coughs> my baby! I'm coming, my child! Honey, honey, are, are you all right? Listen, you don't have to worry about going to school today. Just stay home and relax. In fact, you don't have to go to school for the rest of the year. I'll call the principal and I'll uh, pull a Karen on them. You want some McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts? I'll just get it all for you. Just, just get better now, all right? My baby boy. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'll be your server today. And just so you know, children under 10 eat free today. Oh, well, that's fantastic. He's nine years old. And you know what? I'll just have a water and he'll have the chicken nuggets with some fries and a five pound steak, a whole chicken with the lemon sauce, a beef wellington, five eggs, four pancakes with the syrup and Nutella and top it off with about four cream sodas. Wait, I'm 19. Be silent. Give your forked tongue behind your teeth. Why are you late? Yeah, remember when you told me yesterday that the bell does not dismiss you, I dismiss you? Yeah, what about it? Well, if the bell does not dismiss me, it does not tell me when to get here on time. Get out of my class, Ryan. Why, because I was five minutes late? You weren't even in class yesterday. I know, but that's not important. Well, yeah, it is. It's way more important for you to be here than us. The substitute gave you homework yesterday. Put it on my desk on your way out. I finished it in class yesterday. I put it on your desk. Ryan, why are your answers from question one all the way to question eight exactly the same as Michael's answers? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because we were answering the same questions? Can you believe this? Oh, by the way, toss me a pencil. Hey, no talking to each other during class. Why are you teaching during my conversation? That's it, to the principal's office now. Fine, can I go to the bathroom on the way? What for? To open the chamber of secrets. What do you think? 